On this iFixiPodsFast.com video tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to change out the battery in your iPod video. Here you can see the iPod video. This is a 60 gigabyte version. Now if the battery isn't working that well, you'll want to change it if it is not under Apple's warranty plan. So what you want to do is make sure that the iPod is off and put the iPod on hold so it doesn't turn on while you're working with it. What you want to do is create a gap in the side between the metal and the faceplate. So simply push down at about the middle and use a non-marring pry tool to get in between and create your gap as shown in the video. We want to focus our attention on the bottom of the iPod now before you do anything with the back plate you want to release the battery connector and you can use a small flathead Phillips screwdriver for this what you want to do is simply pop up the latch as you can see and set the back plate aside now be very careful so that when you try and release the battery which is held on with adhesive that you don't rip any uh, ribbon cables. Now the adhesive underneath of there what you want to do is simply just push with your non marring pry tool and push upwards at the same time. Push towards the battery and up at the same time trying to release that adhesive. There's a simple iPod video battery. We're going to grab a replacement you want to line it up with the adhesive strips that are already there. Press down firmly so that the battery reattaches to the adhesive strips. We're going to flip our back plate over and get our battery connector into position. Sometimes you have to maneuver that. Once you get your uh, battery connector into position, you simply push down on that same tab. And you can snap the iPod back together or you can uh, double check and make sure everything works. If you see the Apple logo after you've taken the hold button off, uh, you want to press the menu button. Once you see the logo, that's a good sign when the iPod lights up. When the uh, backlight on the LCD screen lights up, that's also a good sign. And when the menu comes up, that is the best sign. So there you see the menu. Now after you replace the battery, you always want to make sure to let it charge uh, for the recommended time, which is usually four plus hours uh, just to make sure that the battery gets a full charge uh, its first time. But we've taken and clamped everything back together and we've verified that everything works. So it's basically as simple as that. The uh, battery replacement is very easy on the iPod videos. Not too difficult. But if you're not comfortable doing it yourself, please feel free to send it in to iFixiPodsFast.com. It's $29.99 for the battery, and that includes replacement. But thank you for watching this video tutorial. Hopefully it's helped you. If you have any questions about battery replacement, go to forums.ifixipodsfast.com or go to ifixipodsfast.com for any parts you may need. This ifixipodsfast.com video tutorial is copyright of ifixipodsfast.com. iPod and the iPod Mini are registered trademarks of the Apple Computer Corporation. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. We hope it's helped you out in replacing the battery in your iPod video.